Learn how to uncover your unconscious metaphor for your problem or stuck state and use this information to discover why your current attempted solutions aren't working and what might actually work better. Stay tuned. Damon here from NLP Gym, and I'm here with Mark Andreas from Boulder, Colorado, son of NLP legends Steve and Connie Ray Andreas. He'll be teaching Core Transformation starting tomorrow, Friday, September 16th. And he just arrived yesterday, and uh, we've had some time to talk. And how are you doing? Doing great. Really well, psyched to be here. Me too. Yeah. yeah. We were playing around, I guess, with some metaphor work, and uh, it was really interesting because we started unpacking some of my stuff, um, which was a lot of fun. I always like visiting with uh, or, or connecting with different NLP trainers and seeing what their knowledge is and what they have to offer. And so we were talking a, a bit about metaphor, and you want to explain what we were doing? Sure, yeah. So there's a lot to this process um, developed by Andrew T. Austin, but basically in a nutshell, it's all a process about discovering our current metaphorical experience of a problem or stuck state, and then using this uh, to go to to have some interesting insights into our experience. And we definitely had some interesting insights. Notice there was a lot of interpretation. Kind of, it reminded me of like uh, Carl Jung kind of interpreting dreams and that mm. sort of thing. And uh, that's actually something we didn't talk too much about. Yeah. Uh, do you have any? Can you say anything about that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a great question, actually. So, once we elicit the metaphorical experience, whatever that may be. So it's maybe it's like I'm slamming my head against a brick wall or it's like I'm in the pit of despair or um, it's like I'm walking through quicksand, whatever it might be. We, we elicit more of the metaphor than that. So we elicit the metaphorical landscape, what's to the left, right, front, back, um, you know, of the quicksand or the wall or whatever it might be. There's actually no interpretation, but it sounds like it from the perspective of the person in the experience. Because what I'm doing is literally just coming up with idioms that match the metaphorical landscape. Yeah. Um, which means I don't have to actually know what I'm talking about. I can just literally say things that match the metaphor and, and, and for your experience is gonna be like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. How do you know all this stuff? That's what I was gonna say. It's like, it, it really seemed like you knew my experience and it actually almost felt like you were psychic. And uh, yeah. I, I, I kind of, can understand now like people who are trained to kind of come off as being psychic and who charge people for palm reading and stuff like that if right. they you could have easily you could probably get a job doing that but. yeah i've thought about that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's like yeah and somebody i worked with recently um i told him don't tell me anything about the situation we'll just do this metaphorically mm -hmm. and he has said a similar thing he's like uh he's like it's like you're clairvoyant how do you know this stuff and i'm mm -hmm. like well I didn't tell him this, but I don't actually know anything. I'm just literally reflecting back um, mm -hmm. details of the metaphor in a way that is very meaningful to, to the person and fits their experience. Interesting. So, yeah, so I was in the pit of despair, and uh, Mark helped me out. No, it wasn't quite like that. But that was the other thing, too, that you, you weren't really, I guess, telling me what to do. You weren't necessarily trying to change the metaphor. It was more about... Uh, well, what felt like interpretation and more about kind of giving me more information or possibilities. Yeah. Uh, you, you didn't really give me a solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all about discovering where we start. Mm -hmm. So a lot of, um, uh, you know, if I want to get a plane ticket to Chicago, um, I'm, I'm not going to do a very good job of that if I don't know where I'm starting. Mm -hmm. So it's like the first step is knowing where, do, where am I starting? And a lot of people don't like where they're starting. But, and some of us have a lot more steps than others to get where we're wanting to go, depending on the goal and where we are in our life and that kind of thing. But, so the metaphor process is all about discovering where am I starting. So then there's at least a chance that I can get somewhere better, somewhere that meets my outcomes better. Yeah, and it was almost as if like just having a better understanding of the situation and using metaphor to do that. So it was kind of like, well, it's not like... It didn't feel so direct. It felt like I, it was more of a creative way of approaching it, which made it easier um, maybe to, to gain the insight. Uh, it seemed to come a little bit easier. And uh, it seems like you, not all the time do you need exact solutions, that sometimes you just need to really understand, like you said, where you are. And that, and a, that can, uh, just knowing that can actually move you forward. Yeah. That seems to be how this, it was working. Yeah. I'll share an example of you know, the, the one I was referring to, the guy who 
felt like, whoa, you're clairvoyant. How do you know this kind of stuff? He, his metaphor was it was like he was walking around in circles in no man's land. That's kind of what it felt like. And, um, and I asked him which direction, and he goes counterclockwise. And he just had that immediate sense. Um, and, it, and then he's like, yeah, it's like actually like I'm walking on this little concrete platform, just going counterclockwise, and there's just dirt in all directions, like nothing. And then he said, oh, it's kind of like there's this river that behind me, but it just ends where I am. And so then I just, some of the, in terms of the idioms that I reflected back, they were just the kind of thing like, um, well, it looks like you, uh, you don't know which way to go, and so you've been going in circles, and it's been pretty counterproductive, and it looks like maybe for a while you've been, you were going with the flow, which might have been nice, but um, you didn't have any control over where you're going, and now you've washed up here, and you have a foundation now, you have a concrete platform, um, but, and you can take steps of your own for the first time, but you don't know which way to, to go. And so you've just been going in circles. And he's like, oh my God, like, how do you know? <laughs> it's like, funny, as you're saying that, I was like, oh man, I know there's places in my life that I feel the exact same thing. <laughs> it's so interesting how this is like so universal. Like you, yeah. metaphor is you just kind of like plug in your own stuff into it. Mm. Uh, that's fascinating. Cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, so, so you'll notice in terms of what you're saying about the interpretation, is that there's actually no interpretation in what I was just saying. I was just literally saying things that matched his metaphor. True, yeah. But then his experience is like, whoa, that totally resonates. You get me. Like, how do you know this? Um, but you're literally just matching the other person's metaphor and leaving it up to them to sort it to out. go sort it out from there. Yeah. Yeah, that's fascinating. I have to learn more about this. <laughs> it's really cool stuff. And yeah. do, you, do you teach a workshop on this as well? I'll probably get into teaching more of it. I've done short presentations, and we bring Andy in to Boulder every year to do a full six-day training on it. So okay. um, I'm going to probably do some. Maybe I'll do one for you. That would be great. That would be awesome. Um, well, yeah. if you're watching this, and well, obviously, if you if you are you are watching this, I <laughs> <laughs> uh, would love to hear um, some feedback. If you're interested in a workshop like that, let me know. You can leave a comment down here. The cool thing about this metaphor is often you hear these little mini metaphors in people's language all the time, and often we just ignore that part and we focus on all of the rest of the content. Mm -hmm. And that little metaphor, whatever it might be, like uh, it's two steps forward, one step back, or those little pieces yeah. actually hold way more information than the rest of the entire sentence. It's interesting. I have so to start listening for that now more. Really, this is a way of really understanding what, what's all being communicated. Excellent. In those, those little snippets. Right. So, yeah. Oh, I'm learning a lot already, and we haven't even started. <laughs> <laughs> Check out our website, nlp-gym.com. Follow us on Facebook for real-time updates on upcoming trainings and free practice sessions. And if you haven't already, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's great to have you in Santa Cruz. I'm really looking forward to Core Transformation starting tomorrow and all weekend. It's going to be a lot yeah, of fun, I think. Me too. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I should probably... Okay, so um, there's going to be a temptation maybe to look at the screen, but when you do look in this direction, look at the lens. Okay, you yeah. You can actually tell when your eyes are... I can are... barely even see the screen anyway, so... Okay. <laughs>